Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's a Cromel School. E-File is a dangerous tool in the hands of an unexperienced nail technician. You can injure or drill through the nails. In this video, I will show you how to work with an e-file correctly, how to remove the coating and do an e-file manicure. Give a thumbs up and let's get into it. What drill bit to choose for removal if you are a beginner? The drill bits can be ceramic and carbide. The first ones have thinner blades, so they remove the material roughly and intensely. And scarbite bits are more suitable for beginners, as they remove the material more gently. It's better to choose cone-shaped bits. The bits that are wide in the middle have a smaller work surface, so the removal will take longer. And a sharp tip of the bit is handy when removing gel polish near the cuticle. I'm turning on my e-file to full power and removing the lens with the bottom of the bit. Since we want to do a nail extension later, the bit should stand exactly perpendicular. If it falls under the nail plate, it can accidentally pull the fingernail while lens removal. How you can learn to remove gel polish with the e-file? Cover the tips with white color. Next, apply two layers of black gel polish and the top coat. After curing, try to e-file the coating. Take it off gradually, rich in white color. White acts as a base coat here. Your task is to keep from reaching the tips. I place the bit across the nail plate and make long moves. It's important that I work on forward position at maximum speed. If you turn low RPM, the drill bit will dig into the coating and form bumps. I carefully process the cuticle area with the tip of the bit. I don't take the material off to the natural nail, as I can accidentally damage it. I'm leaving a thin layer, which I will remove with the e-file later, since we are going to do nail extension. Anyway, if you want to apply gel polish, there is no need to file off the base completely, if it holds on well, of course. But if you see any peelings, you have to remove them completely at this stage, so you won't waste your time on filing or buffing later. Move along the nail plate from right to left to smooth out the surface and get rid of bumps that have appeared. To prevent the drill bit from cutting the nail plate and getting stuck in the cuticle, I have to open up the proximal nail fold first. For this, I'm using an orange wood stick and push the cuticle with lifting moves. You can use a metal pusher instead of an orange stick. However, when the cuticle is spreading, like on this thumbnail, it's easier to use a wood stick. For the manicure, you can use different drill bits with such a fine abrasive. But it's quite hard to work with thin bits, because it can get stuck in the nail plate instead of gliding smoothly. In addition, two white bits can drill through the nail. It can happen because of the wrong bit placement in relation to the nail plate. One of the drill bits that is the most popular with the nail techs is a flame drill bit, 0.21 or 0.23 in diameter. This drill bit is red, which means it's medium stiff and it fits mostly all skin and cuticle types. Before you start working on the client's nails, be sure to practice, doing an exercise that will help you to get the right pressure eventually. E-file on the nail buff with the surface of the drill bit, making smooth moves. The surface should not change. If you leave the bit on its tip, it will cut your buff and drill through the real nails. I'm starting to process the left side of the cuticle. I turn on the e-file, 15 to 17 thousandths RPM, forward position, and move making small strokes from right to left. The steps are about 2 to 3 millimeters each. If you make longer steps, it can drill through the nail plate, especially on the side walls. Sidewall thinning will result in cracking at the gross points later. In addition, 
I'm filing off all the dry skin on the side fold to make it look nice and even. After that, I stop and change the rotation direction to reverse. Now I'm moving from the middle to the right. We can see on a stump that the model's lunula is wide. That means we can't do a deep manicure. And the gel polish coating should be applied to the cuticle, not under it. I'm also removing pterygium with short strokes. Now, an important stage. I need to lift up the cuticle. To do this, I place the bit at an almost 90 degree level to the nail plate. And move with short strokes, lifting up the cuticle. During the first pass, I smooth it out, going deep under the cuticle. The bit stands parallel to the cuticle. I pull the skin in the sinuses. To do that, I'm doing an upper grip on the client's finger. And with my index finger, I pull the skin diagonally while processing. If you see something white in the side sinus, you need to check if it is dust or pterygium. Remove the dust with a brush or send your client to wash their hands after the manicure. If there are any white leftovers, you can e-file them out, but be gentle in order to avoid side peeling of the nail plate. The onycholysis. Lifting up the cuticle very gently, with no pressure, I don't want to injure. It's important to completely remove pterygium from the nail plate, because otherwise it will cause lifting of the coating. Don't overfile on the same place, as the nail may get too thin. You can cut off the cuticle with any sphere diamond drill bit. Choose the color of the drill bit according to the cuticle and skin type. I will be using a red sphere one, 0.33 in diameter. I advise you to practice cutting the cuticle on the nail buff first. The first pass, we file with the bit tip on the nail buff's edge in order to lift its surface, imitating the cuticle. The second pass, we cut off the cuticle with a bit surface. I put my client's finger to the side, hold it with an upper grip and process the side fold. I'm using a big red sphere drill bit. If the skin was too dry, I would take a blue one. The speed is about 5 to 7000 RPM. Forward position, gentle strokes, no pressure on the cuticle. During the first pass, I lift up the cuticle even more and on the second pass, I cut it off. I keep changing the direction of rotation, the bit moves like the clock hands. Don't file on one place for too long, so the skin does not hit up. Make sure your client does not feel pain. Skin over filing can also cause hangnails to appear very quickly, even on the second or the third day after the manicure. When I want to polish small hangnails, I don't push on the bit at all. I'm going with polishing moves, removing the lens from the free edge, since we want to extend the nails later. And I remove the rest of the material from the surface, making long moves with the soft side of the file.
dehydrating the nail plate. Let's take a look at the result. The cuticle is gone and we see that there is no redness. That means that the e-file manicure was performed correctly. We went through all the e-file process from coating removal to cuticle cutting. Let me know in the comments what difficulties you face. Subscribe to the channel. Success in your work. Bye-bye.